She don't care. As long as you make your own breakfast, Mom wouldn't wake up on Saturday. I'll come over after supper. Hi. Right. How about you, Jono? Oh, no. No, I can't. I promised my dad I'd go bowling with him tonight. He gets a kick out of it, you know. My parents are going out. You can go far for late. Yeah, well, I wouldn't want to disappoint him. But thanks. <laughs> And that's young Lance Kerwin. James at 16, if you will. Lance wins easily. So he and Melissa Gilbert have proved that youth can triumph. Final <laughs> for Richard. The young man has put ABC back into the thick of the competition. You beat one fine athlete, Hi, Kevin good. Thompson. I'll Thank you, you, Kevin. Had, you had a toughie to beat. Kevin, I'm sorry, but you had a fall prey to you. The best always shows. There you go, Lance. Good run. There you go. Lance, great job. Nothing more need be said. You brought your team back into the competition. Good luck Thank to you. you. Richard, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. We just need more kids. We need more children on our team. That'll be Kevin and Lance seem to have no problem when it comes to negotiating the monkey bars, but Suzanne, it seems like Kevin had problems when it came to the wall. Yeah, Kevin gets a little hung up in the ropes here. You can see he slips, whereas Lance is just flipping right over, and then he has the added advantage of landing on his feet, which gives him a running start. You see, Kevin lands on his posterior. Well, Lance Kerwin did the job, and he's a fascinating kid. James at 16, really 17, he understands his role and discusses his show. Basically, people ask me about my character. They're used to seeing, I think, 21-year-old, 15-year-olds, like the Sweat Hogs or, or uh, in Welcome Back, Cotter, or Happy Days. And I, I say to myself, well, sure, there's those kind of people like Fonzie and the Sweat Hogs, but there's more kids just like the average hidden high kid in high school, maybe a little short for his age, not altogether so swift, uh, a little clumsy, trying to get girlfriends. And so we're showing the things that go on uh, in growing up. They say our show might be risque, is where we deal with sex and everything. But I don't think we do that we do. I think we're just dealing with things that everyone goes through in life and, and growing up. Oh, James, I never feel this way before. You're so special to me. do something that I think is very special and very important and ought to be done with someone you love and I and I do love that other girl and well I just won't do that with the stranger my uncle hired even though you are beautiful because you are all right I've been wanting to ask you is would you go to the spring blowout dance with me? So I'm asking. How about it? Will you go? No, James. I can't. You have a date. Is that it? No. I don't have a date. And then I don't get it. Why won't you go with me? Look, James. I know how this is going to sound. And it doesn't mean I don't like you, because I do. It's just... Well, you're not my type. They were very close friends. Okay.
also think that you could be the best wing on the team. Only for some reason you put on an act like you don't want to be. Why would I do that? I don't know. Just like I don't know why you drink too much sometimes. Your father was supposed to send me 300 bucks from our joint tax refund. It never came. You tell him for me. I expect it by Friday. Mom, I don't want to be a messenger boy. Two little bottles of beer, Dad. Uncle Gus said him a couple of swigs, too. I don't care what your Uncle Gus does. I've told you before, I don't want you sneaking around when you go to your grandmother's. And you, you shouldn't be drinking at all. Well, now, this is the way it should be. Please, get me out of this shithole. Hey, buddy, that's what we're here for. We're going to take you home. But first, we're going to take a little blood sample, all right? I'm going to die, right? No, you're not going to die. Tell my girl I love her. You're not going to tell her. You're going to tell her yourself.